Welcome to the Jeremy Hill Show. This is a men's channel with men's content. If there's something you like, then hit the subscribe button. Now, I'm going to show you a woman who tricked her boyfriend into eating her ex-boyfriend's cum. She snuck off and let her ex, Pookie, cream pie her and then tricked her man into eating out his kids that was inside of her. There you go. Once my boyfriend was asleep, so I wanted to go fuck my ex real quick, so I drove down to the gas station, let him cream pie me, and then I came home to sneak into bed. My boyfriend woke up and then wanted to fuck me, and he started eating me out and told me how good my pussy tastes, and he's eating my ex's cum out of me, and I never told him. And he's eating my ex's cum out of me, and I never told him. Listen to this. And he's eating my ex's cum out of me, and I never told him. Now, I want y'all to understand something, man. These women today have absolutely no morals, man. This woman snuck out of bed while her good man was in the bed sleep. While he was in his sleep thinking he had a good woman laying next beside him, she get in her old broken hoopty and drive down to the gas station and meet Pookie. Pookie meets at the gas station and put that thing on about pump nine. And then Pookie, before he does that, he go into there and talk to the Indian owner of the gas station and ask for a condom. And then the Indian owner says, I don't know what you like. Do you like Magnum condom? I have Magnum condom. Would you like to have a Magnum condom? And he buys a Magnum condom and then he beats it up and probably take it off when he about to skate and then cream pies the woman. And then he goes right back, back on by his Pookie type of business. And she goes right back and let this man that she got at home eat her out knowing that another man's penis was already inside of her, knowing that another man, another pookie was skeeting all inside of her. You think she really care about this man? No, this is how women have gotten to be today. You understand what I'm saying here? This is the problem with the, the world right now, man. All these different three old foes trying to be something. I got another video that I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna go back to this same video because this video is so outrageous that we just played, right? But let me go ahead and put up this man up here. He got her phone and found out some stuff. I'm gonna keep this shit real. I know this shit ain't player. A lot of motherfuckers gonna say something. Why you wanna post this shit? But I wanna try to know how motherfuckers is. This ass, bro. This ass. I'm gonna have to make that a little bit bigger for y'all, man. So I'm gonna go to the screen so you can actually read what he found on this phone, right? I want you to see this. I want you to look at this. I'm all right, I'm pausing it right quick. I hope y'all can see it. Reed was on that screen, man. She got the pookie under a name called My Baby Free Food. So this dude is a simp at the same time taking her out to eat. Whenever she wants some food or something like that, what's going to happen is she gonna mess around and call him and he gonna bring it over like he's Uber Eats or something like that, right? Now read it. It said, hey, baby. That's her. He's talking about, what's up, babe? She's talking about what you doing. I miss you. Now she's married. She said she missed him. And then it says, like, um, thinking about you, I miss you more, baby. She put all that BS emoji. Then he said, you missed this pipe. That's what that eggplant mean. You missed this thing. And she said, you know I do. I'm definitely trying to bend that A over. He trying to bend that booty over, not yesterday, not tomorrow, but ASAP right now. And, like, um, it's kind of hard to read her response. Let me see if I can get to it. Because she says on the bottom part, because it's covered up by her husband, caught his girlfriend cheating. She said, I want to give you that A1 head. I'm trying to get to a point where it's hard to see it. I'm trying to make it where you can kind of see because she's talking about why you want to post this shit, but I want to try to know how much. See, these women are scandalous, man. These women are scandalous, brother. That's why I made this video so y'all can see what these women are doing. Now, I'm going to tell you something else that's kind of funny. These women will leave a good man or cheat on a good man for a pookie. And I'm going to show you what a crazy pookie sound like. Sometimes you see pookie on television, believe it or not. Here's the pookie that you got to see. You got to see how this pookie talk. How come you can't manage that yourself? Your Honor, I told you I'll be spending half the day trying to find these jobs and the other half trying to keep the house clean for her because I know how she get. <laughs> <laughs> That's what these ladies want. You already man talk. Your Honor, I'm trying to get one of these jobs and, and I don't get one of these jobs. I'm trying to keep the house clean. Man, what the hell is that, man? So they will leave a man that got a good thing going on, put in the house, put in car, put in Gucci and stuff for this type of joker, for this type of dude that talk like this. Honor, I told you I'll be spending half the day trying to find these jobs and the other half trying to keep the house clean for her because I know how she get. So what you say you be trying to do? What you try to be doing, Pookie? What, what is he be doing, Pookie? 
What you do? Tell me. And again. the other half tried to keep the house clean for her because I know how she get. But what about the job, Pookie? <laughs> what about the job? Find these jobs. And the other half tried to keep the house clean for her because I know how she get. I don't know what you were thinking. I don't, know I don't get it at all. I mean, no disrespect over there, but it doesn't even sound good. It, it, it's not smooth. It's not. It, not Is that what you got to understand? It don't got to be smooth when it's pooking. See, Pookie is the kind of guy that will say things like family is everything, but then he'll turn around, steal from his niece and then steal from his uncle. You know, Pookie always going to shop. He likes to shop, but not like you and I. He buy all his stuff at the gas station. He buy all his T-shirts from the gas station. They're all tight around the neck T-shirts, too. And he's going to go to the gas station and flip flops and go there and slides and all and on bicycles. That's how he get there. You don't have to be like um, real smooth and stuff. All he got to do is be dirty musty nasty and have what they call ghetto swag and she gonna go crazy over him not for nothing but i understand miss jemison now that you've seen the light watch how much money a woman would spend on a pookie you want your money back i want my money back talk to me about your money first of all yana i have a list and i have the total amount of money that, that you believe he owes you yep Yana, I want. Hey, hang on, look, turn around and take a look at what you think. Rent twenty seven thousand, food seventy four hundred, entertainment five grand, clothes, shoes four thousand, utility bills three thousand six hundred, uh, pocket money two. You gave him pocket money. Mm. Yana, she gas. You see how much money these women would spend on a pookie, but won't spend nothing on you. This is what's so crazy about this. The loans he giving her the thing, and he know every lyrics to every hip hop song. She gonna open them legs wide and let him just fly in like an airplane and land in that thing and do what he needs to do. One thousand two hundred dollars in video games, eight hundred dollars yep. total expenses, fifty one thousand dollars. That's to start. That's to start. To start over in the course of three years. Yep. She's out of her mind, your honor. She think I'm gonna give her that back. <laughs> I just started working. I just started getting on my feet. Um, what I could offer her is to get her on my bank account and we share, but I am not. Uh, so not. you're offering her. I'm offering an her an opportunity to share in the current of my uh, the fruits of your current labor. Is that yes, accurate? Because, yes, because I am now eating very well. <laughs> it's because I am now eating very well. <laughs> it's because I am now eating very well. <laughs> you're this. Do you hear this moron? This is Pookie. This is what women like. This is what these women want. Someone look like him, talk like him, sound like he got a speech impediment, but that's what they like. Let it go. <laughs> so you want her back? I want her back, yes. Give me your best. Turn around and tell that woman something. Do you mind? I know. Go right ahead. Do you mind? Can I have your hand? Christy, I love you. Oh, you're not done with it. And I'm sorry for everything I did. And I want you back. Will you take the kid back? One last time. Take the kid back. One last time. Will you take the kid back? One last time. Look at... I played that three, four times on you. I want you to understand. These women will take the kid back one last time. They will. At you. Two good sentences and you're toast. I'm not all the way there. Oh yeah, y'all. I saw I, I, I saw your eyes tear up. I saw you grin when he came in your direction. I'm a, I'm a changed human, man, Your I'm Honor. A, like I'm a changed man, Your Honor. What changed you? Merely. I want y'all to see how you walk. Man, Your Honor. What? Man, Your Honor. What? Your Honor. What I'm a changed man, Your Honor. He, he walked like he got a big two by four up his butt crack. I mean, I mean, I don't understand what is the attraction for something like this, bro. What changed you? Merely, I was just a little boy when we met. <laughs> I'm now a full grown man. Man, I'm now a full grown man. If that's what a man is, I must be a donkey, because this is not a man.
he lived off this woman. But women, I'm telling you, man, a lot of these modern women ain't got no damn sense, bro. They ain't got no sense. This is what they have. They have low self-esteem. They think this is what they supposed to be with. And I'm not trying to put the brother down. But come on, man. Even common sense, like when Judge Lynn Tolliver first heard this man talk like a weird old Muppet baby, she looked at him and she looked at the other one and said, like, I don't know what you were thinking. I don't know what you were thinking either, Judge. These are the type of men that meet your girlfriend at the gas station in cream pie, and then you got tricked into eating his cum out. Because you know I am, you know, I'm up there looking for these jobs, and you know, I'm this. Come on, he sound like Red Fox a little bit. I don't know what beans and cornbread taste like. Come on, man. But that's what y'all like. Well, I'll see y'all next time with another reaction video. Peace.